All right, guys. So I had the dreaded water in the hole in the Pelican 103 Predator, like everybody else does. But it's been cold with this crazy weather around. I was afraid it's going to crack when I picked it up the other day and moved it. I was afraid it was going to crack the hole so to get the old water out of the hole. So I know I ride jet skis a lot. And I can't, but if you ever seen the back of the Predator, Predator, I'm going to show you. Y'all have to pardon me. I got it up on my jack stand. All right, so. That's the drain plug for inside, and that's the drain and fill for the live well. Well, they didn't put a drain plug to drain inside the hole on it. If you own it, and this is a 2020 Predator. It's a little dirty. I, I tried to wash it, but this weather's been awful, so I moved it under here. But, uh, so what I'm gonna, I'll never rode jet skis or anything like that. Most jet skis have a setup like this in the back. I'm gonna try installing it right here. Well, I'm gonna drill a hole in the back of it. I'm gonna install it either way, so I'm gonna drill a hole in the back of it, and we fixing to find out if this fixes it with me drilling a hole in the back of it. This will be something new, and if that fixes it where I can drain the water out of my hole, when it gets water in it, it's a $9 part. All right, so let's see how this goes. I'm fixing to start drilling. Let me get it marked, and I'll get you back when I get the hole marked, and we're gonna start drilling it. Pretty much all I'm using is a step bit, and a Phillips screwdriver, so you don't need much. So let me get started. All right, so we're back. So I'm gonna do it in real time so y'all can see what happens. I'm fixing to drill a hole in the back of my boat. So little Predator 103. So let me turn you around here, get my drill. So I kind of made a little mark. I'm gonna eyeball it. So this is either gonna work, guys, or I'm gonna have a big hole in the back of my boat. We'll find out in just a second, won't we? I don't want to drill it too big because I want to know if the plug is going to fit tight. This is what the plug looks like. So let's see what we got here. We can go a little bit more. So that's what it's going to look like, guys. Hopefully y'all can see that. If this works, it's a cheap fix for the leaking boat. Leaking predators. Oh, y'all just got predators. Oh, that drill works good. Bit works good. All right, let's see what we got here. And I want it tight as I can get it. I think that's as big as I'm going once I trim the inside. So, let's see. Oh, look at there. Look at that. Ho ho, we may have something here, fellas. Can you see the water? Oh, so, so let me, I'm gonna tilt, I'm gonna tilt it up. And let's see what we got. I'm gonna see if I can get my wife to come out here and hold the camera for me. Let's see, there's the thickness of the hole. You've never seen it. Hopefully you can see that. And I want to trim the inside of that up a little bit. I got something I think I can trim that up real quick with. Smooth that out. But I see lots of water. I'm going to tilt it this way and tilt it back. And let's see if we get it out. All right, guys. I had to go get my lovely assistants to hold the camera for me, my wife. So she's going to do it while I pick the boat up. It's, I don't have it on aim because I got it off the trailer because I'm redoing the trailer. But we're going to see if the water comes out. So hold it right there. You know how we know how to get the water out of the hole. Neat, easy fix. Amazon Atwood three three quarter inch plug, just like what goes in jet skis or, or kayaks. So that's gonna be an easy fix and an easy way to save it. Get, get the water out of the hole. Maybe Pelican or start adding that. I don't know. Be nice, but anyway, you can do it yourself if you got one, guys. It was a quick little trick that I just thought about. So. Good luck. Hope it works for y'all. All right, so I got the hole. 
I needed to adjust it a little bit, so I use this tool. Works perfect for widening the hole. Clean that out, so we so we know the we can get the water out of the hole now pretty easy with this little plug in there. I feel foam right. I feel some foam right there. It's over there on that side. And that's the. All right, so let's do that. So let me let's test fit it. All right. So there's what the plug. So basically, guys, when you get done, that's what it's gonna look like. So now you'll have a drain plug. I'm gonna put, it comes with a gasket, but I'm still gonna put some silicone on it. I know you could use the 5200 Marine, but if I ever need to replace it, that stuff's pretty much permanent. So I like to use this. This is the one I use. This stuff is pretty sticky and I've had good luck with it. So, all right guys, once I get it, once I get it bolted in and all that, I'll show you one last time, all right? All right, so that's what it looks like now when I put it on the trailer and it's tilted. I can pull the drain plug, and if I got any water in my hole from rain or anything like that, or when we're in the ocean, waves splashing over, I can drain the inside of the hole. So, all right, guys, now it's your turn. Go on, fix yours where yours is leaking. Cheap and quick. I got some new new things coming for the boat. Y'all can see I just put in a touch switch panel, and I got the navigation lights. We like to bridge hop at night and hit the docks at night in the ocean i mean we don't go out far in the ocean but that's the new switch panel i just mounted inside so i'll give you a little more details on that next once i get my other lights and all that coming up so that's coming up also got a four horse power evan motor gonna put on the back of it gotta redo it so add a little more stuff to it have a little more fun in it all right